Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be the ending of autism. Um, this is May 2nd, so Autism Awareness Month has ended, which is every April. Um, it's We did so much for autism. Of course, it started off with the march that I created eight years ago, which is every April 2nd, which is World Autism Awareness Day. <clears throat> um, this march, as I've said before, it started off with just me, my husband, my children, and one friend. And just each year, it's gotten bigger and bigger and more special. We've been featured on internet TV, um, the English newspaper here, the Spanish publication, um, New York Museum, like I said, internet TV. So I got more and more known. Um, people heard about me, heard about my journey, heard about what I was doing with this march. And I'm telling you, this April 2nd, it was truly amazing. Hundreds of people came. I mean, we, we dress in blue head to toe. I mean, it was just truly amazing. I was overwhelmed and touched by the amount of people that came. Um, this year we had the autism car. Um, we had one of the guys whose family has been touched with autism. He had his, um, sports car or race car, um, decorated in autism. And he had every, um, person signed the car and then he would seal it and it would stay that way forever, which was a special surprise treat for all of us. And I loved it. Um, I was surprised by my best friend who we've been best friends for 46 years, ever since preschool, kindergarten, first through 12th and through the years. Um, she said she wasn't going to be able to make it, and but she would be wearing blue and definitely ne next year. And the whole time she knew she was coming, she did the research, decked out head to toe, had shirts made saying marching for Alexis on the back, keep calm, light it up blue on the front. She had an amazing poster made and she specializes in gift baskets. I mean, we kind of have the same taste and ideas. It's so funny. Um, and she brought even more gift um big huge gift baskets to give away and so together with all the gift baskets that I had and the autism gift boxes it was just amazing and I was just like shocked it's like I didn't even recognize her because I was so into this march that you know saying hi to everybody welcoming everybody making sure that every family got their picture taken um, before we do the march because at the end sometimes people get tired or leave early and i want to make sure that every family had um, their group picture taken and i like to welcome and hug everybody and do a welcoming message and everything so it's a lot a lot riding on my shoulders um and so i saw her but kind of didn't see her i just i it was just like, I thought, what a sweet girl, you know, I have a new follower. And all of a sudden it went off like a bomb and I was just touched, crying, we were hugged. So anyway, I got a bunch, my nephew surprised me from the Bay Area um, to be with me the night before. Um, he didn't say, he said he was gonna not going to be able to make it and he knew the whole time. And so uh, my daughter went and got him all the way from the Bay Area. So that was a beautiful surprise. So a lot of touching surprises and special treats. And it was just amazing, amazing. I can't wait to next year. Usually I just take a few months to prepare for the following year. I'm starting already to prepare for next year. So yeah, it's um, like I say, I don't have any sponsors or donors and I never really asked anybody for help or for anything and nobody's ever really offered until this year. Um, people really want to be involved and help next year. And I hope it's, it's true because I've had... Um, like the beginning of this year, um, I had people say, hey, when it gets closer, let me know. I want to be involved. And at the last minute, they're like, oh, no, I'm too busy. You know, I can't do it after all. And we had a volunteer meeting and only one person showed up. So it was like, see, this is why I don't ask anybody for anything. Um, but I always keep it moving because it's about my son and all the autistic children. And this means the world to me, to my dying day. It's my life dedication. So whether you're on board or not, I'm going to keep it moving. So, but this year I really met a lot of people um, and people that I've known for a while that this coming year, they really, truly want to be involved. And I really feel that from their heart. And so I'm opening up to that again and we'll see how it goes. But I've never had sponsors and donors. Um, like I said, I've never really asked. Nobody's really ever offered. And um, this is a lot, a lot of money time and work that I put in putting this march together. It's like something fierce. But like I said, it all paid off because this year was even more amazing. And each year 
that's what happens and it's just like crazy stuff but um yeah i've uploaded some videos um we the uh, main um, video that we do which takes at least three weeks after we do the march it takes time to upload because we have to gather all the pictures from every camera every cell phone every resource um all over the place we have to gather the pictures and then we have to um find the songs that we're going to put to the video and then we have to figure out the words and we have to edit and format it and we have to put all that together in the timing of the words and the timing of the pictures and this year we had some like live video mixed in with pictures which is something we hadn't done before and so it's a lot of work my one of my daughters adriana she does the technical um work she's technical savvy computer savvy so she does all the photography um she does all the computer work so she does all my flyers. She does all my slideshows every year. She It's a lot of work. I mean, it takes like three weeks to a month to put that video together. And she works on it for hours every day at a time. And then I let her know what I want, what pictures I want, um, how I, in what order, um, what my creative idea is, um, what songs I choose the songs, um, what songs I want in there, how I want them to play. So I'm the creative force behind it, and she just technically puts it all together. And so um, she's my assistant. She's my administrator of my Autism Faces group, and she's also my assistant in everything that we do autism. And then my youngest daughter, Carolina, she's completely and utterly artistic. She's just like amazing. She's so talented. Not only does she sing and play instruments and never had classes and she can sew clothes on a machine, but she has this artistic ability out of this world. So she's in charge of anything that's artistic. Um, she does all my posters. She designs them and puts them together. And she, um, any drawings, um, any designs, um, any paintings, even to the baking when we bake different um, desserts towards autism. She does the artistic stuff and all of that. So anything artistic she does. My husband, he's the one that helps me set it all up where he will build something if he has to. He will organize it and arrange, you know, like when we go to the plaza where is our ending point, he sets it all up, the tables, um, the signs, the banners, the balloons, everything. Um, so he's like my... Um, stage designer I would say something to that effect but so as a family we all put our part and of course my son who's autistic Alexis he's my inspiration and my reason behind why I've made this my life dedication why I um bring autism awareness to anybody and everything why I do this march he's just the reason and the whole inspiration behind it and so um yeah, it was truly amazing. We uploaded that video. Um, when you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see all my videos. And for some reason, you won't see that one directly. You'll see the Home Depot supporting autism. And then you'll see the Applebee's fundraiser. And for some reason, you don't see that. But if you click on uploads, then it's in there. So please watch it. It is a little bit long, um, but it's so well worth it to see it from the beginning to the end. So if you're interested in knowing more about autism, um, or if you have a family or friend or or just know anyone with autism, you need to watch this video. I mean, it was truly amazing to see what we really do. You need to see it. It's like 25 to 30 minutes long, but and there's different songs. It, it's just an amazing video. So please, please watch it from beginning to end. Um, and then we had the Applebee's fundraiser, which my friend does. And we went there to have dinner. 15% of the proceeds go to autism research and to a specific um, program. Um, so watch that video. And of course, the Home Depot supports autism or supporting autism. Please watch that video. Um, so yeah, we started off with my March, which is April 2nd. And then um, we did the Applebee's fundraiser, which is that same day. And then we went to... Um, the Autism Speaks Walks that we do every year in San Jose, California. So um, there should be a video up for that. If I haven't put it up, I will definitely put it up. Um, we do that every year, which is usually two, three weeks after I do my march. Um, that was amazing. My um, daughter had bought us um, Star Wars shorts because Star Wars had just came out and they were limited edition. And it says, um, I find your lack of awareness disturbing. 
but together um, we could rule the galaxy. Together, um, bringing out autism awareness or something, we could rule the galaxy together. And we went there and people were like amazed and loved our shirts. And how can I get that shirt? And unfortunately, it is limited edition, so they didn't have them anymore. But um, they were like perfect because Star Wars characters are there. And, you know, it was just like perfect, perfect, perfect. And even though it was black with yellow lettering, it had the autism ribbon and stuff, which I'll post pictures. And if I haven't posted the video, I'll do that. Um, and then that following week was just this past Saturday. We went to the Oakland A's game in Oakland, California, my hometown, um, where they played the Houston Astros and they were honoring autism awareness and they won two to zero. Oh my God. I mean, the fact that I could go back to my hometown and see my Oakland A's play was just amazing. I hadn't been in 1992, which is kind of bad because I grew up with baseball. My brothers played baseball. We knew professional players. Baseball was in our blood, in our family. And to ha not have gone for so many years, I definitely need to go more often. But so it was really amazing to go back to my hometown and to play see the Oakland A's play but then for them to honor autism awareness was even more special and then to win it was like yes yes and even the representative autism speaks was there and she saw us because my best friend had sent us a gift of shirt she had made and it says um has a blue puzzle piece and it says keep calm light it up blue and on the back it said marching for alexis for the march that i do but we saved those shirts for this event because it was a jersey like it was so fitting for baseball and it was all blue and white and so they spotted us out because usually everybody goes with the colors of the players which is um, green and yellow for Oakland A's, but we had we were there to represent autism awareness, and so we were in that area where they say reserve seats for people with autism, and so we had to wear blue shirts to represent for autism, and people were kind of a little confused, like, I don't understand what team you're going for, <clears throat> and I said, well, definitely for the Oakland A's because I'm from Oakland and that's our team, but we're representing autism awareness because this game is in honor of autism, so, and they're like, oh my God, that's so amazing. Oh, we love it. We love it. Great job, and stuff like that, so that representative saw us, and she said, can I please take your pictures to the website, and I said, absolutely, and so we did that, and it was just an amazing feeling. What a way to end Autism Awareness Month, which the game was Saturday the 30th. What a way to end Autism Awareness Month with the bang. I mean, going to my hometown, um, winning at that. I mean, just perfect. Sorry, my nose is really runny today. And so we did all of those events throughout the month of April, which is, like I said, Autism Awareness Month. And then um, I also uploaded videos. There was a um, autism um, makeup look that I did for you guys so I hope you watch that video if you haven't go back and check these videos out so I did my march which that video and photos to be uploaded if not I the videos uploaded but um, and there's some photos and clips of my march so make sure you check those out and then of course the look the autism tutorial makeup look check that out and then i did a video of autism songs um what autism songs are out there which are many which ones me mean something to me which ones are my favorite or that i recommend and then i did i believe a three-part video of what is autism what does the puzzle piece mean why the color blue is there other colors for autism um how did my son get diagnosed? Um, what was my journey like? So it was a three-part video. Very, very interesting. Please watch. So the whole month of April, I just dedicated full on to autism. And I think I threw one or two of the um, regular makeup videos in there just to throw in there and let, let you guys know I haven't forgotten that. But autism is my number one priority, especially April, which is Autism Awareness Month. So I went full-fledged on autism. So please check out all these videos about autism that I uploaded. Like I said, there's a bunch of clips of the March. There's an actual March video, the Home Depot Supporting Autism, the Applebee's Fundraiser, the Oakland A's. I'm still trying to figure out how to upload it because I did on my camera and it goes to another YouTube channel that came with the phone. It's not this YouTube channel, so I got to figure that out. But if not, I'll definitely put pictures. Um, 
and the autism speaks um walk should be up there if not i'll upload that i'm pretty sure it's up but if not i'll upload those as well but please please check out if you just want to know about autism um, know what you can do um, or have a family or loved one or a friend with autism please watch all of these videos they're very touching they're amazing and i would really appreciate it and of course i want you to know that even though Autism Awareness Month has ended, for people that have been affected um, or touch, I should say the word touch, not affected like it's a disease or anything, but touch because our children are our heroes, our best friend, our angels. We love them to pieces. This is why we make this our journey and our life dedication. So those families that have been touched by autism just realize that because um, Autism Awareness Month has in it, it doesn't end for us. Every day in our lives, in our home, is always autism awareness. We live it daily. We live this journey forever. There is no off day. There is no breaks. There is no vacations. Um, this is a journey that we live with our children, and it's an everyday, all day thing for the rest of our lives. So Autism Awareness Day is, or month or day or whatever, is always present every day in our lives. So just because April being Autism Awareness Month has ended, it has not ended for us. It's just one month that we really go full-fledged autism to really go full force and bringing that autism awareness to our families, to our friends, to our community, to the world, to anybody and everybody. So, um... But it continues, and I do other events throughout the year, like in June, the Giants do their um, autism awareness um, honoring. And so I'll be um, most likely 99.9% .9 going to that because I have a lot of events in June. I have the Puerto Rican Festival. I have my daughter's graduation. <sighs> there's a lot. And then my other daughter's getting married. So there's a lot this year that I am every week every month something important is really happening and of course i have to mix in my autism um so yeah um i'll be sharing everything and anything with you guys but especially autism um so i do um there'll be that in june as far as autism the giants honoring autism and then um, July 18th is Autistic Pride Day, so I'll be doing an event. I do like a picnic potluck here in my town, so um, I'll be uploading and sharing that with you guys. And um, what else? I'm trying to think. Um, it's just a lot of events. I can't think offhand, but there's a lot of things that I do for autism awareness. Like I said, it's a daily um, life journey for us, so every day is Autism autism awareness um, time for us but we thank you for um, supporting us and watching um, my videos for autism awareness and for just everything for your love and your support and mm -hmm. just um, like I said watching our videos that is a big key into helping us um, spread autism awareness because You've heard it, so we've touched one person, and hopefully you would tell other people about it, and other people would watch it and really get to know what is autism, who is a, who is touched by autism, what is it all about, what is the symbol about, the colors about, um, what is that journey like, what does it mean medically, financially, what does it mean emotionally. I feel like I had a... <coughs> I knew it. That's why my nose was itching. Sorry. So, I mean, yeah, what is autism? How is a child diagnosed? Who is, who is affected or touched? What is the journey like? What does this mean medically, financially, emotionally, mentally? Um, who who is has autism? How can I help? What does this autism puzzle piece represent? What do the colors represent? Why the main color is blue? Um, where can I um, join a walk at? Where can I um, donate money to? Um, where how can I help a family or a loved one or a friend that I know that has autism? Um, how can I help you spread the word? All these things you will. Um, find out about in the videos that I did this month of April for Autism Awareness. So please, please watch them. You'll get to know me and my family more, what I'm all about, what autism is all about for me, all about my son, 
why I do what I do. And it's just amazing, amazing. Please, please, please watch. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. So you can get updated on all my videos. All my videos, hair, makeup, reviews, hauls, everything, but especially autism. Um, and please give a thumbs up each video that you watch if you like it, because that means a lot to me and my whole family. So we really hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll be doing, um, there'll be definitely more autism videos. Um, won't be as probably as much as April because April was dedicated full fledged, full force to autism, but there'll still be some that I'll be throwing in there as the events happen, as things um, are happening and and stuff like that and just more information that I want to get out to to you guys in fact one of the looks that I have right now is blue you could do this look um, I just happen to wear, be wearing blue and black today but if you wanted to do another look other than the tutorial that I did you could just wear blue in your crease and then black or whatever other color or the other colors of autism which are red yellow and dark blue or you can do anything as long as you mix all four of those colors or the main color blue Blue earrings, blue watch. I had blue lipstick on that day. Blue headband, blue scarf, blue hat, the puzzle piece. Um, even things like I bought this. This is an autism watch. You see the puzzle pieces with the four colors. Um, or just a plain um, blue watch, maybe like that. Um, blue earrings like this. I had the blue band. I had blue tennis shoes on. I mean blue from head to toe. So just anywhere to get people asking and learning about autism awareness. So um, there's a lot of videos that I got that are going to be coming up because I got a lot to catch up on since I went full fledged full force with autism. Um, I'm going to be doing um, a comparison between um, the naked one, two, three and four versus the Maybelline nudes and blushes and the L'Oreal palette one and two. Um, what are they all about? Um, which one is better than the other? Which one is my favorite? Um, are they all as good quality as the other one? Um, different. I'll be doing that one. And then I'll be doing some tutorials on how I do my eyebrows because I do it like three different ways. How I do my eyebrows with pomade. How I do it with um, powder. How I do my eyebrows with the pencil. Um, and I bought, I've been using two different pomades that I've really been looking into and seeing how they work for me and which ones I like best. So it'll be like, I think it's a Salon Perfect versus the Anastasia pomade, which I got three different colors from Anastasia and three different colors from Salon Perfect. And I'll be comparing those and telling you which I like best, um, which works better, which looks, you know, you know, which gives the better effect for me, um, price range. And was, is it worth it paying? I paid $18 for the Anastasia versus $4 and something for the Salon Perfect. So is it worth the money? You know, things like that. So I'll be doing a review and comparison on those. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I'm really trying to get some hair in there. I haven't really done a hair one, but it just seems like every time I cut hair, it doesn't work out to do a video. So, um, being a cosmetologist, I have to mix in hair because that's part of big part of what I do, hair and makeup. So I'm definitely going to try to get more of those done. My daughter's going to prom, so I'm going to try to videotape me doing her prom look. Um, I'm not doing my other daughter's wedding, um, her makeup for her wedding. She's going to have someone else do it because she doesn't want me working or doing anything for a wedding, but just being the mother of the bride. But I'm going to do a wedding look on her as if I had done her makeup how I would have done it. And just to kind of see how she likes it and stuff like that. She knows I'm good at what I do, but um, I always like to feel pampered myself. Like, I know how to do nails. That's what I have a license for. But I like to go and have my nails done. So I like to feel pampered. So with them, I like them, you know, to be pampered in other ways. Just like, oh, mom, mom, mom. So um, I'll be doing those videos. So look forward to those. But you have to be subscribed. Please subscribe. I reached my 100th video. Thank you so much. Um... But I need subscribers because I, I need to know that people are watching my videos and they like my videos and, you know, everybody wants to have more subscribers. This is what this is all about. So I think I'm going to do a giveaway for the person that helps me reach 100 subscribers. Um, and I'll be doing that maybe every 100th subscriber. Um, I'll give you information on how to join that contest once I reach 100 subscribers. Um, how to join that contest and I'll be doing a giveaway. It could be 
a naked palette. It could be, um, a, you know, set of Anastasia stuff, or it could be a perfume set. It could be any way, anything that I could do as a giveaway as a thank you for helping me reach that goal. So once I get to my hundredth subscriber, which I'm at 43 right now, because I just started in July. Um, so if you can help me reach that goal, I'll do a giveaway. So anyway, I think that's it for now. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. But thank you again for um, your love and support through this Autism Awareness Month. Um, please reach out to a family or friend or loved one. Or if you just met someone who's been touched by autism, there's you can do so much by just lending a shoulder or a helping hand or just a supportive ear. There's so much you can do to help families that, you know, really need that support. So thank you for, um, you know, watching my videos and seeing what me and my family are all about, what my son being autistic is all about, our journey and all the events that we do. It means the world to us. So, and like I said, there'll be more autism videos. It's Autism Awareness Day every day for us. So there'll definitely be more autism videos and events. So look forward to those. And of course, I'm going get, to get back to my makeup uh, videos and hauls and reviews and comparisons and stuff. So look forward to those. In fact, I'm probably going to do two or three back to back tomorrow because I need to catch up on that. So again, thanks for so much for watching and please watch all of those videos. There are a lot, but it's well worth watching. So go back and if you're subscribed, go back and watch all those videos and tell me what you think and just love to hear your comments and your feedback and, um, yeah, it'll be great. And so, and like I said, the Oakland A's one will be uploaded. And if I haven't did the Autism Speaks, that will um, be uploaded if I if I haven't uploaded it yet. So look forward to those. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for walking. For walking? <laughs> yes, for walking. For walking for autism last month because we did a ton of walking. I mean, we walked for my march. We walked for the Autism Speaks. We walked for the Oakland A's game. We walked for everything. So we've done so much walking. I don't know how we haven't even lost a couple of pounds. But yeah, but thanks for so much for watching. And into my next video, take care.